Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to give you guys an overview of System Restore in Windows 8. Pretty much identical to Windows 7 and Windows 10 in many respects, but I wanted to make a video for you guys today who are running the Windows 8 or 8.1 operating system. So hopefully this should be pretty straightforward and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by left clicking on the start button or start menu and you want to type in system restore one of the best results should come back with create a restore point left click on that one time so now if you wanted to go ahead and create a restore point where it says create a restore point right now for the drivers that have system protection protection turned on left click on create this will give you the ability to create a date here. So let's say we're going to just name it the date in which we're making this video. And then I'm going to left click on create. We'll take a moment to create that restore point. So I just want to be patient on that. And then the second part of this video is once we've created it, I'm going to show you guys how to actually restore back your computer using the, the restore functionality. So system protection should get a little pop up here saying the restore point was created successfully. Left click on close. So it would suggest if you wanted to go back and restore your computer to an earlier time. Underneath System Restore, up in near the top, you can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point. So the next thing you, I would want to highlight is if you wanted to delete old restore points, you wanted to see what restore points you had on your computer. Where it says Configure Restore Settings, Manage Disk Space, and Delete Restore Points, left click on this Configure button right above Create. This will show you how much disk space has been allocated to restore points. So obviously you want to make sure you have system protection turned on. This is where system restore is coming from. So if it's not turned on, you don't have any restore points. And disk space usage, this is the amount that's currently allocated for system protection. So if you want to make it bigger, you're more than welcome to just scroll it up higher, or you can make it smaller. So pretty straightforward. And you also have the ability to delete all restore points for the drive. So going back any older restore points, they would be deleted here. So I'm just going to apply it. OK. So let's say I wanted to actually perform a system restore. So underneath the top section, system restore, you can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point. Left click on the system restore button right here. It's going to say restore system files and settings. System restore can help fix problems that may be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. So it's going to give us a suggested restore point, which will more than likely be the most recently created one. Or you could select choose a different restore point, left click on next. You can see the restore point we just created is right up here as well as another one. So usually if you do Windows updates, it will try and create restore points periodically or you install new drivers or programs. Some applications will actually create a restore point for you on your computer. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to restore back to the most recently created one and that's usually advised. Hopefully if you do create manual restore points, you give a decent description. So maybe instead of just putting the date here, you'd put install this, uninstall that, you know, something that would kind of give you an indication as to what was going on in this time period. And you have a little timestamp on the left side anyway, so I'm going to just select the most recently created one, and then I'm going to left click on next. It's going to give us a brief synopsis here, confirm your restore point. Your computer will be restored to the state it was in before the event in the description field below. Give you the date here, again, description, and what drive is going to be restored. So also I want to just point out if you have changed your Windows password recently, we recommend that you create a password reset disk. So just hopefully you guys remember what the password was if you recently changed it before versus what it is now. And System Restore will need to restore your computer to apply these changes before you proceed. Save any open files and close all programs. So once you heed that advice, left click on finish. It's going to get pop up here. Once started, System Restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? System Restore cannot be undone until after it has completed. The System Restore is being run in safe mode or from the System Recovery Options menu, it cannot be undone. Left click on Yes. This will take some time to run. So you could alternatively also access System Restore through the troubleshooting menu that is either built into Windows or through the Media Recovery tool. So if you go online, you get the Windows 8 ISO, burn into a CD, DVD, USB, 
doesn't really matter, but as long as you put your computer to it, you would be able to access System Restore prompts through that disk. Assuming that your computer hard drive wasn't too far gone, and in that sense it should be alright and you would be able to locate your System Restore point through that. You could also run System Restore in safe mode as well, but I'm just showing you guys the most general overview of System Restore I can, just showing you how to create restore points, delete old ones, manage the disk space allocated to them, and ultimately how to perform a System Restore. So we're going to let this run here for a minute, so just be patient, and I will be back with the narration once we are done the restore. Okay, so once it's done, it should say System Restore completed successfully. The system has been restored to this date. Your documents have not been affected. Back click on close, and that should hopefully be about it for this tutorial, guys. I hope I was able to give you guys a decent walkthrough, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.